hope everybody's doing fabulous today. Uh, I needed to put together some recruiting packets, so I decided I would go ahead and make a video on my packet. Um, for those of you that have seen my hostess packet video, this is going to look really, really similar. Um, I still use a two-pocket folder with four-page protectors and my cute little ribbons. Reason being is I can buy a whole bunch of folders, tie my ribbons into my four-page protectors, and have all these just sitting. And then if I need hostess packets, if I need recruiting packets, they're really interchangeable because they're both four-page protectors. So I can grab it and use it for whatever I need. So I'm going to walk through what I've got in my packet for my business. Um, front folder, I've got three different things. I have the first piece is a um, brochure all about our opportunity that I purchased through our business supplies. And this answers a whole lot of questions, has really pretty pictures and all the fun stuff that they need to know. The second piece is a little PDF that I put together. Um, it's got my picture, it's got my favorite quote, and it just really talks about my why and why I joined my company. And that's something that a lot of my potential recruits like to know. So I decided to put it in a document form. Uh, the third thing in there is the printable version of our consultant agreement. Yes, people can go register online, but I do still have people that want to fill this out and fax it in as opposed to just joining online. So I do give them that option in every single recruit packet. I include one of those. And so that's all in the front pocket. In the first page protector, of course, I have the flyer with our kit options on it. And the reverse of that page has our start spell options, which is all the extra stuff they can earn in their first four months of business. Um, a lot of companies offer something like that, quick start program, that sort of thing. Um, so that way everything's all laid out. They can see everything. They know what they're shooting for. On the second page protector, I include a printable goals worksheet, which allows them to see um, if they have this many parties, they have the potential of making this much income and that sort of thing, and to kind of track where they want to go with their business. And then the reverse of that has our career path, which lays out all of the different levels, all the way from consultants up to the top executive level in the company. So it gives them an idea of the different options that are there for them should they decide to work their way up into leadership. The third page protector gets into all the feel-good stuff about our company because that's one of our big draws is that we are really philanthropic, we give back a lot. So this one talks specifically about um, our mission and our give back program and that's actually a double-sided so that continues up here. And then the final page protector is more feel-good stuff. This is what we call our values. It's our 12 values um, of our company, hard work and curious and um, respectful, flexible, fun-loving. So it lets everybody see those, and they're really cute images. This is also a printable that's available in our consultant websites. And then, of course, in the back pocket, I've got a current copy of our catalog. So... These are super simple for me to put together. Um, I usually batch produce, you know, quite a few at a time, both of my hostess packets and my recruiting packets. Um, and then, like I said, I've got these extra folders ready to go that I can just shove stuff in. And um, I keep a folder on my computer of all these different printables. So within my documents folder, there's a subfolder called potential consultant packet. And within that is every single one of these things that I would need to print to build a packet. So then every time I need to do packets, I can just open that folder and print however many copies of each item. Um, I keep all the old ones from previous seasons in there in an archive folder underneath that subfolder. And that way, if I need to refer back and I wanted to see, you know, what was in our Start Swell program two years ago, whatever the case may be, I still got all that information. But everything in that main folder is always current. I archive everything that I'm not currently putting in the packet. So it makes it super easy. Um, that's going to be one of your biggest keys to implementing a lot of my programs is to be super intentionally organized with all of your files, all of your papers, all of your documents, everything like that. I um, don't know what I would do without the organization systems that I have in place. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back next week with some more videos for you. Thanks.